Hey folks, I'm back for another narrated PBR battle. Uh, I'm using my OU singles team again, uh, and against a random opponent off Wi-Fi. Uh, this is, uh, as I said I was going to, I've modified my singles team. I took out uh, three of the my platinum in-game team, stuck in Crobat on Yan Mega from my Soul Silver in-game team, and also threw in um, my event Jirachi, which I actually got on my birthday, so it has sentimental value to me. Um, not sure that I'm keeping all these guys. There are definitely some kinks to work out in this team. Um, my opponent today uh, really sent me for a loop. This was one heck of a psychological battle. I just didn't know what to expect. It's one thing when you see all NFEs. Then you know it's either a noob or, um, or it's someone who's trying to screw with you. But here there were two Ubers, so I was like, okay, are the NFEs just to throw me off? I just didn't know what to do. The, his Groudon didn't have an item. I just really didn't know who I was dealing with. So uh, this battle did not start auspiciously because I just had no idea what to expect. He sends out a Starly, so I have no idea wh whether he's just, you know, a, some kid or whether uh, this is... Um, a fear Starly or what have you. Um, as, you and as you can see, I agonize about my opening move for quite some time. I eventually settle on Brave Bird, uh, thinking this is a noob. Turns out I was wrong. This is a fear Starly. For those of you who don't know, fear stands for Focus Sash, Endeavor, uh, Quick Attack, uh, shouldn't that be a Q? I don't know. Uh, and then Rattata, um, or in this case, Starly. It works equally well. Um, this and so I get him down to 1 HP, he gets me down to 1 HP, and he'll KO me on a quick attack. Luckily, I now know what he's doing, and I'm not going to fall for that. So I switch to Empoleon, who's got full HP. Um, I'm not worried about breaking a Focus Sash, because he doesn't have one. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I switch in Empoleon. Uh, he uses quick attack. Um, and I say, haha, you thought you could outsmart me. Uh, and I'm feeling pretty good right now. Another advantage of Empoleon is that uh, he's got Aqua Jet, which means that no matter what Starly does, except for switch out, uh, Empoleon's going to outrun him. And so I take out Starly, and uh, I say, good riddance. Um, <clears throat> and here's where I get confused, because I'm figuring another NFE. He sends out Groudon, so I'm like, well... I mean, it's not really showing up the noobs if you're sending out a Groudon. I just, I just didn't know what to, what to expect with this guy. I use Grass Knot for the super effective hit, um, but his Groudon is pretty speedy. Takes me out with Earthquake, um, and I'm, this is when I realized that I might not have made the best choices on the selection screen um, because uh, Crobat is down to next to nothing. And uh, Jirachi is weak against uh, both Eruption and Earthquake. So no matter what happens, uh, Jirachi's kind of screwed. But I send him out. Um, this is a Choice Scarf Jirachi um, running uh, Draco Meteor. That needs to be taken out. Um, I Iron Head uh, for the Flinch Hacks. Um, here we go. Jirachi uses Iron Head, and I get the flinch. Uh, yeah, it's a cheap strategy, but he's using Ubers and Focus Sash NFEs with uh, you know fear strategy. So I'm not really worried about um, you know who's being cheap. Uh, I get another Iron Head, uh, another flinch uh, score. I'm hoping you know the odds of me getting what four consecutive. Um, Iron Head flinches is pretty low, but uh, you know it was two better than what it was two not uh, two Iron Heads ago. I get um, it's only on the third uh, Iron Head that I don't get the flinch, and lo and behold, uh, Earthquake one hit KO. So my back's up against the wall, as the announcer would say, um, but. Uh, I figure I can still outmaneuver this guy. Uh, he's probably thinking that I am a noob, maybe a good noob, but a noob nonetheless. Um, so I send out Crobat. 
I, I'm thinking about what he's going to do. Uh, I use Roost uh, because I figure he's not going to use Earthquake because he probably doesn't know that I'm running Roost. So I Roost, restore half my HP, uh, and then he uses Eruption, which I don't think would have KO'd even if I had attacked. Um, yeah, it does, not, does no damage because he's down to almost no HP, so I'm not exactly sure what his deal was there. Maybe he just didn't have many other options. Um, I decide not to risk another leftovers because, or, sorry, another roost because uh, he, he might predict that. So I U-turn for the KO, and now he's down to his last Pokemon too. Um, I'm really hoping that I can beat this guy. And, you know, I just, I hate people like this, uh, you know, who, whose sole purpose out there is just to um, you know, use gimmicks to um, beat unsuspecting players. Um, he sends out Cyndaquil. I really don't know what's, what to do. Um, and as you can see, I agonized about this decision for a really long time, too. Um, I figured that he was going to go for an eruption, so I use Brave Bird. Um, get him down to 1 HP with the Focus Sash, which I'm pretty sure I was expecting. Um, maybe I should have used U-Turn instead, I don't know. But he's, he uses Overheat, which with the Sun, uh, with the uh, Blaze, just does so much damage, uh, Crobat is down. And that's the end of the match. Um, oh well, you know, this guy was kind of a cheap bastard, but oh well. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and hopefully I'll have some better battles for you. Uh, yeah, peace out.